Alright, so well, this is Jeremy Medeiros uh, speaking from Lundsvets Island again. Um, it's been a while since we've carried one of these weight checks out. Um, uh, we're going to be looking at the Kahal Cam chick today who is uh, just past the two-thirds bed stage. So just over two months old, got about another month to go and so we're going to start to see some really um, noticeable changes over the next couple of weeks as the down starts to come off and the real feathers are coming in underneath. So we will go first to the nest and remove the lid. Yes, and our chick is pretty well filling up the nest now. He's not the tiny little fluff ball that he used to be. He's quite a big fella. And he was just visited by the male bird last night so he's had a feeding visit and i think he was visited by the female bird two nights before uh so he feels pretty good feels like he is maintaining a really good weight so we'll just take him over here so we can weigh and measure his throat yeah so let's see his face is he yeah, just starting to develop the first little white um, beginnings of his facial feathers, his, his adult feathers, and the wings, the primaries, the secondaries, and the covered feathers over the top that give it its aerodynamic shape are really starting to come in and develop now. He's still got a long way to go, um, but this chick is well on its way in its metamorphosis from giant fluff ball um, to a sleek aerodynamic um, feeder. Put him into our familiar cloth weighing bag. Enables the bird to breathe easily, and, but it helps to confine it and calm it down. Bird. Most of the other chicks I've been weighing on us have, have been getting very um, aggressive and biting me and I had my, the first one draw blood from me uh, a little while ago. So they're now getting big and strong enough to, to actually start hurting when they bite you. Um, I measured a wing core. The last one, it was 150 millimeters and he has grown amazingly since then. It's to the tip of the longest primary feather. So it is now 138 millimeters. 138 yeah, this bird is growing very fast. He's getting to the point now where his wings are growing at the rate of about a centimeter every two days. So he's about, his wings are about half the length. So 138 now, he will have to be up to 270 millimeters or slightly more for his ready to fly to see. So his, his just about almost, you know, half, his wings are about half grown right now. It will get much longer. So I'm just going to take a quick look at him underneath. Um, see, he's still mostly downy. His, his feet are basically fully formed now. And you can see the web feet <coughs> here. You can see the three uh, quite prominent, strong claws they used to dig out burrows with and also the climb trees. And you can see the little vestigial, the fourth toe there, that in perching birds, that's what closes around to, so they can grip onto a branch. But seabirds don't need this, so it's all just reduced to a tiny little spur. Long wing as well. He all comes there in a very strange state of development now. 
because they're all emerging from these uh, straw-like um, scales, basically, the sheep, the tethered sheep, and they emerge like out of the end of it, just like out of the end of the straw. Okay, so I don't want to keep them up too long. It's fairly warm today here on Nunsford Drive. Temperatures are almost climbing into the 80s now. So um, we are going to um, put our Kahal Cam clips back in the net. So I'm super happy to see it's doing well, maintaining weight, and um, seems to be well on its way to fledging out to sea in about a month's time. Probably in early June. I would say the first week of June is probably our target date. Okay, so let's remove him back in. All right, there we go. He, I'm happy to have I caught him in the nest because he has definitely been exploring the entrance tunnel quite a bit, um, quite much more than usual. And I think that's probably where he's gone right now. But he will come back into the nest chamber. And all chicks do this, but usually not until about the last week or two before they fly out to sea. The fact this one's been doing it for almost a month now means it's a particularly adventurous bird. Um, we have seen other ones. There's been times when they fooled me. I've looked in, no chick, and I thought, oh no, something's happened to the chick. You know, it's been carried off by a rat or something. And then I'll check a few days later, and there it is, back in the nest. So what we've come to realize is that they're just these adventurous chicks that hide out in, in the entrance tunnel, uh, some of which are very long, and you just may not be able to, to see them or detect them there. But he looks fine, everything looks good, and uh, we'll be checking him again in probably a week's time or so. Jeremy Medeiros uh, signing out from Nunsuch Island, and JP behind the camera there, smiling away. Right. Take care everyone, have a good afternoon. Great, I might be able to use yeah, that. I thought that's exactly yeah. why yeah. I did yeah. that, because I figured okay. you could pan out yeah. and then pan back in. Okay, that's great. Thank Happy you. Happy to share.